So the truth is, the way for mining in Minecraft has been changed since the Caves and Cliffs update. So here is an area here in my survival world, and I'm going to go show you how it's changed and how the old way for mining doesn't work anymore. Here's the mine shaft, and we're going to go down. Now it used to be, you just go down to around like level 10, 9, 8, and that's the best way to mine for everything. But it doesn't work anymore, okay? It's different. So let's come down to this layer, and I actually have two layers set. And yes, in Minecraft, that's the way you want to do it. Oh, someone's hiding up there. Now, in this little section here, I've come down, and this is level 8 of Y. And there's one area where you can start mining. Now we're going to go down deeper into Deep Slate. And it's going to be another layer, but it's for a different purpose. And the way it works now is a lot of your resources are abundant at different levels now. So it depends on what you're looking for. Now, the one you're probably most interested in is diamond. Well, guess what? If you're wanting to find diamond and a bunch of other resources, you're probably doing it wrong. Come down here. Here's level, uh, what were you, level 58? Yeah. Level 58. I've got Optifine installed, but that's the only mod. And I'm doing the same tunneling here, right? Going that way at level 58. So the way it works is... When you're looking for diamond, the best way to find it is come down to Deep Slate. But a lot of your other resources will not spawn here near as often. And so if you're wanting to get things like iron or copper or coal, or if we're talking also about like redstone and things like that, you're actually going to want to mine on a different level. So I've come down to level 58, and this is just for when I'm wanting to find diamond. And you're going to find a lot more, or let's, let's put it this way, you're going to find a lot less of the blobs that the ores are found in. So if you're wanting to mine for your other resources and like gain experience, you're going to get a lot more experience mining by going all the way to level 8. And you'll find more things like lapis lazuli and redstone and iron and things like that. However, if you're in a situation where you just want iron and coal, then even though these two ways work, it's not the best way. So I'm going to go show you my other little mine, and we'll just jump to that. just want to get on my horse and show you how this works. So we're going to come over here. Here's my bridge. And this goes over here to this area where I have my lumber yard. This is where my farm is our. This one I've decided to do oak and birch. But we're going to skip that because that's not what this tutorial for is for. Neither is that creeper. Now I am high up in the mountains. And this actually is the best place to come and mine for these other things. And the simple rule of thumb is when it comes to iron, copper, especially... Or iron, copper. <laughs> iron and coal, especially for coal, the higher you go, the better. Now, we're coming to... Where's my ladder? My stairway, I mean. That's not it. Oh, I must have already passed it. Hang on. Okay, this is it. Come on up here, and I built the stairway, and it goes up high in the mountains. Oh, where's my mining? Where did it start? That's actually my part of it. No. I think I just started somewhere down around here, this area. It was right here. Now, I'm actually going to go up higher and mine higher, because that's one way to get it. But you see, I've started my mining hallways more like this. And each time there's an open area, I've either pulled out gravel or a bunch of coal and things like that. See, there's a bunch of coal in this area. And the blobs and the frequency of blobs for iron and coal is going to be found much greater in these higher altitudes. Now, it's not always the best way to mine this way, but I mine this way especially if it's a, a hilltop that's covered in, in snow and ice because nothing's exposed on the top, so you can't find them. Now, I do have another place in my survival world where the mountains are near the jungles, and they are not covered. And guess what? In situations like that, it's really easy just to go roam around the tops of the mountains, and there's coal and iron everywhere, and you'll just be pulling tons of it out. Now, I will say this. When it go comes to mining, special things like copper and coal and everything, it really becomes useful to mine with Fortune 3. Now, it used to be Fortune 3 only worked on certain things that dropped in uh, various items, like diamond and redstone. But if it just dropped the ore, you wouldn't get more of it. That's not true anymore. Now, with the newest update in Caves and Cliffs, whenever you mine iron, you get the actual iron ore that looks not just like the block, but the ore itself. And you actually get more iron out of it. So when you mine with Fortune 3 on the regular iron blocks, it would only drop not one block no matter how much, no matter what fortune you had on it. Now, if I go mine an iron block and it drops the iron ore, I have a chance to get more iron out of it. That's pretty cool. It didn't used to be that way. So now, mining becomes actually ex you know, a lot better when you use Fortune 3. In fact, when I start a world, that's one of the first things I do is start to build up my text so I can get to the Fortune 3 before I start my real big mining frequencies when I'm looking for, like, diamond and things like that. It becomes quite useful. So that's the way mining works, okay? And the new Minecraft Caves and Up 
<laughs> Caves and Cliffs update. So, yeah, time to mine differently, guys. The old strategy doesn't work anymore. Now, instead of mining everything at one level, you've got three places where you want to start your mines, all depending on what you're looking for.